Right now, we're taking a road trip to Collinsville this morning for a ride on the water. Fox 61's Keith McGilvery is there to show us how to go with the flow. And he's got a friend. <laughs> Easier said than done, Tim, La Tim Lammers. Good morning. So Jack is back. Jack Warner with Co Collinsville Canoe and Kayak. His first piece of advice for me right here was to avoid the rock. I think I'm sitting flat on top of the rock. <laughs> You're getting close. I'm getting close. Um, so we have switched it up. We've gone from canoes to kayaks. Jack, I think this feels a whole lot easier. Talk to me about the dynamic of being in one of these. Yeah, so you have a much lower center of gravity, so you feel a lot more stable. Um, also, having a seat back and foot pedals to rest your feet on just gives you a lot more control of the boat. Um, canoes are fun. You can get the whole family with you, but kayaks are a lot more easy to maneuver and kind of go by yourself or with another person. All right, so Jack is a fun family. Jack, you said there are two-seater options and one-seater options, and your dad calls the, the two-seater a divorce kayak? Yeah, he calls them divorce boats. You, everyone wants to go their own way when they're out in the water, and when you're trying to fight over what cove to go in or you're hitting your paddles on each other, you don't have as much fun as you do in a solo. So as we celebrate Connecticut businesses, that's a lot of the reason why we're out here as well. You folks have been around for 30 years since before you were even born. Tell us a little bit about the story and what you think makes this place so successful. Um, I think my parents just have a real big passion for the sport. It's not something that we just work and then go home. And it's not like we don't kayak. We paddle when we have our free time and we enjoy it. Um, my mom's father started a bunch of canoeing, canoe uh, outfitting businesses, and that's kind of how she got into it. And they just have fun and they enjoy paddling. All right, so when Jack is not teaching me how to do this, he plays football at Union College. So you have a little bit more upper body strength than I do. Should we race this way? Absolutely. All right, let's go. I got a head start. Tim Lammers, watch out. The Fox 61 Morning News continues next. Come on, Jack. Oh boy. Here we go. Send us your bucket list ideas. Share 61 at fox61.com. <laughs> Wait, oh, wait, wait for me. Hey, he's doing okay, right? We're good. Hey, he's doing better there, Dan Amaranti, really? than he'd be doing on like a stand-up paddleboard because he's like me. He does not have a low center of gravity, so it'd be one of these things. Keith's about as top heavy as they get. So. Yeah, right. yeah, especially the hair kind of weighs him down a little bit, yeah.